Hi, this is Christina Varga from the Varga Gallery in Woodstock, New York. And on behalf of Expert Village, today I'm going to show you how to be a self-taught artist. Not an easy thing. One of the uh, things that I like to use as a self-taught and unconventional artist is metallics. And uh, I have noticed that as the quality of the material that you use increases, so does the value of this painting. Here, next to me, you see the phoenix. Look at it. There's some gold. Here you see the phoenix, right? This painting, I generally have it on sale for 5000 And uh, in my gallery, I sell it for 3500 because that's what I can probably get for it. I do have somebody standing next to me that is perhaps interested in it. And uh, it is, I don't have any of the other leaf that I used. But what I used to make this painting was sizing. Sizing is the stuff that is uh, that glues the gilding to a canvas. You put sizing on it, and then the gold sticks to it. And I recoated it with sizing. It's got a whole bunch of unconventional materials. This is handmade Tide paper with uh, from Thailand with gold marker in it. This is cadmium red oil paint, which is a very expensive color. We have blue enamel paint in here and the the composite leaf as well as the gold gold enamel and the whole thing if you can see uh, I dusted it with gold dust so that from above so that from the top all the little ridges of paint caught a little bit of dusting on the way down and you can see sometimes I would take it and blow it in my hand and it's what highlights all these gold things. These are things that I would not have learned had I gone to school. I would never be taught how to do this in school. It's got markers, it's got pencils, it's got chalk, it's got all sorts of stuff. But don't be afraid to use whatever you want because you can make art with whatever you have available. It's there and just put it together. That's all you need to do.